to Boston College Arts Festival. I'm the Visual Arts Coordinator, Yifan Wang. And I'm the Visual Arts Coordinator Assistant, Megan Cassidy. And now you're listening to the Artist Podcast Series presented by the Boston College Arts Council Office. Hi, Veronica. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for doing this podcast with us. Of course. And I want to start with you introducing briefly about yourself, your name, year, uh, major, minor, anything you want us to know about you. Okay, sure. So my name is Veronica Kosowski. I am a freshman in the Lynch School studying applied psychology. I'm considering doing a minor in studio art, but not sure in what to concentrate in. Still new to my BC career, if you will. So. Wow. Uh, yeah. Welcome as a Thank freshman. You. <laughs> now you have Thank four, you. you have three more years that you can participate in the Arts Fest. Yeah, <laughs> that's oh true. God. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and next year is the 25th anniversary. It's a big year. So <laughs> good to know. Good to yes. know. We're looking forward to see more works from you then. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I was I want to start with the work. And could you tell us about the work you submitted, uh, what's the idea and inspiration behind it, and also how to pronounce it? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so it's Piękne Liszt, which is Polish, which means beautiful leaf. I made this a few years ago in my high school art class. And the assignment in general was like a cross hatching with Sharpie marker. And I did one assignment in like one or two days. And my teacher was like, no, you need to like, do something really specific, like zoom in, like, like kind of explore more and have fun more with the, with the style. So then I was like, okay, leave is cool. So I got like a reference picture kind of based it off that. And then from there just went away and I worked on it for like 10 hours straight. It was just kind of addicting to just make all the lines, (laughs) all the shading. So yeah, I don't necessarily, I mean, Cause I made it a few years ago. So like even looking back and like thinking about whether I was going to submit something, that was kind of the first one that kind of came to mind. I named it in Polish because I am Polish. My family's from there and I wanted it to be something that kind of like resembled me more um, rather than naming it like beautifully for, I don't know. It seemed a little too cliche for for my liking. Um, So like giving it a foreign language was like, oh, that's cool. (laughs) Um, So yeah, I I think that's, yeah. Very interesting. So um, do you see there's a connection between your your Polish identity and the subject you depict, like nature or like this very detail oriented like there a cultural it, meaning to leaves or nature what, n- no okay so when I was making it I didn't really have that kind of connection I was just kind of like doing it as part of an assignment but then like even reflecting on it now and kind of like zooming in to nature into this huge part of my identity and like tirelessly working towards it um mm. and kind of like I guess you could even say maybe it's like a discovery of my identity and like trying to create it and what it is because living in in America with my Polish heritage if you will has definitely been interesting like in my upbringing in high school and stuff and yeah so I think it was just like connecting this huge Poland and like kind of making it my own in some ways but I I don't necessarily see a connection I mean I will say though when I I visited the last time I went to Poland was in 2019 right before the pandemic which was like an absolute miracle because you know then COVID and then COVID again and then and then now with uh, the Ukraine issue like we don't know the next time I could go back like forest if you will and even just like walking around there and like seeing how prominent nature is in Poland Mm. like kind of like the I guess the respect of it and also just like the just like always surrounding yourself in nature is like a big part of the culture there like everyone goes on walks everyone wants to you know hang out at the park and I feel like that isn't really something that happens at least in my upbringing everyone is kind of on their phones or just like staying at home or or they can't go outside because you know you're in a city so wow. where's home to you in in the states then so i'm from new jersey mm-hmm. i'm like a half hour from new york city well when you mentioned nature i think and also have this uh have yourself emerged in nature i think it, 
it like goes very better with the the subject you submitted because it's such enlarged detail of the leaf mm -hmm. and when you enlarge it to this scale you are almost emerged by a leaf because you know a leaf is tiny yeah and now we enlarge it and we see all the detail uh of of the leaf of the vein of the texture of the leaf of the tissue and just picture yourself in front of a gigantic leaf like this so i think nature is so powerful in a way and mm -hmm. especially representation of of leaf and sometimes like you said we are so is emerge in this in in tech you know, in technology, social media, and we don't have time to slow down and look at a leaf that closely, not even spending 10 hours working on <laughs> yeah, depicting that. It's just amazing how powerful nature and how powerful art is. Mm -hmm. and yeah, um, even now kind of reflecting on it again, like the shadows, I had a lot of fun with the shadows and like figuring out what lines I wanted to make like darker. Mm -hmm. And I feel like even when we look at a leaf, depending on how the sun shines on it, you kind of get a different perspective. Of course. Um, and like different details of the leaf are kind of glorified, I guess. I don't know. And so I guess in the same way, my like piece, the, the way that the shadows are run, there's like a dark part in one section, the other part's a little lighter, like kind of the the contrast i guess significant in some way as well wow very interesting do you think black and white is a conscious choice or is it just like because this the assignment you're asked to <laughs> use sharpie um, so if i'm being honest probably because the assignment but not having it like be a green color and like but you're still able to kind of tell it i mean i don't know because a lot of people when they've seen it for the first time because i've shown it to people here and there like they kind of instantly know that it's a leaf even though you it's not green and even i feel like if it is green then it's more obvious that it is mm. a leaf yes but the fact that people are still able to to understand and comprehend that it's a leaf even though like you're even saying that it's like close up zoom in no one's staring at a leaf that close and they're still able to identify that it's a leaf i think that's that's really cool too very interesting do you know what kind of leaf is it or what kind of plant it is no i don't <laughs> i'm sorry i <laughs> know me being very curious no i know it. but i don't have anything for the for the viewers <laughs> wow. very interesting do you think you will continue doing using this the same technique in the future and doing different subject matters yeah i really like this technique because it's all it's honestly, for me, it's pretty simple in like essence, because it's just a bunch of lines and it's just a matter of like, like focusing more on the one area to make it darker and to create those shadows. Um, I haven't really created anything similar to it since. If any, I think I recreated my own piece, but I did it in pointillism. So, ah. so that's kind of similar-ish. I'm very open to it. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place with my art and my style. Like that's just one piece that I did a couple of years ago. But then like, I also did AP art where I focus more on like pencil and color pencil mm. drawings. Mm -hmm. um, and then I like to play around with like water watercolor and it's more like design rather than like an actual art piece. Mm -hmm. But I, I miss the, the opportunity to just like immerse myself completely into a piece and just like be in that zone state, if you will. Cause I, I it's been a really long time since when I made it that I was able to just focus on a piece for 10 hours, like not focus on any other responsibilities, just to like really be in it and be intentional with how I'm like thinking about a piece. So um so we'll see if I add that, if I add that minor, I'll probably be I'll be forced to in some ways, but it's, <laughs> a, good, it's a good push. Yeah. Uh, to like pursue that. That's so, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I think when you're in the zone and you're so absorbed in creativity, it's it's just so beautiful. And you're in the nature, you're united with nature, especially. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm one with nature. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It, it was just like when I saw the title, I wasn't sure if, what, what kind of languages. I, I was like, my intuition was like, Hungarian, but I wasn't sure because I mean, like, it's it's in the area. It works. But yeah. 
yeah and Poland especially today in today's context it's yeah wow it's I yeah even in like today's context not to like you know but like seeing the way that Poland has kind of like stepped up for people mm. this like this past month especially it's has fun. been like very humbling in in the sense that like I'm like proud to be Polish because that that is what I would do like I would open up my home to the exactly. capacity that I can the way that like the news has like affected me this past month with with everything going on and like kind of feeling distant from Poland in some ways because I'm in Boston and I'm away from New Jersey like where my parents are and so I feel like kind of bringing this piece back is kind of like flooding all of these connections back that there's like still beauty in the nature um, and like beauty in my culture too so I think it's been like a good reminder especially lately everything going on what well, yeah I was uh, when I saw the news was like the majority refugees were actually taken in by home like families not yeah. by any government or like yeah. that kind of um, institutional uh, space mm-hmm. but by like yeah yeah I was just like Mm-hmm. this is humanities this is yeah and then the peace is like the power of beauty of nature and also of life in general i think mm-hmm. nature yeah and i feel like it also even like kind of going back to this like zooming in i feel like it also just like brings closer oh, wait never mind i don't know what i was gonna say with that but just like like zooming in and like like allowing yourself be fully immersed I feel like there's something there too of you know even like the Polish people immersing yourself in the culture and like to help and support Ukrainians like you know to be open and close to the issue not saying that this is what my piece was no no but we just I feel like like it could it could maybe be a connection there I could I certainly see maybe there being a a connection somehow like that but of course yeah I just this is, I think this is the interesting part about our, it just, it transcends time and bond and space. You know, it, you created this piece a couple of years ago, but when you look at it in today's context, it has a different meaning to it. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's against what you are, your original uh, intention when you're creating this piece, but still it is part of your culture, part of your identity. Mm-hmm. And it, all add up to the work and yeah yeah, it's beautiful and are there any other last message you want the audience to know and (laughs) pay attention to when they're looking at the work um I don't know I guess like for me because I had no like specific intentions or like specific thought process towards making it there's just like value in seeing something from so close Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know I like that's just the theme that like that keeps coming up for me like in our in our conversation mm-hmm. like you know and even that was the advice of my art teacher is to go zoom in like don't just do like because the first piece I did was like, a teapot and it was like based on like a project someone else did and so it was kind of like you know maybe you should be copying other people's work but see this is what happens like you go deeper you go close you kind of explore you immerse yourself in it and then here you are a couple years later submitting it to, a, <laughs> to an art college arts fest yeah like so I feel like there's value in going deeper learning more being open to feedback I guess and like other you know opportunities I guess Mm -hmm. and I guess that could kind of connect to just in general like me being a freshman the the year almost being over being open to what's to come uh, my future years at BC so yeah I feel like that could be connected to everyone too somehow so beautiful yeah yeah Yeah. I think we is nowadays with just so fast-paced life people don't zoom in in a lot of things and Mm -hmm. we just try to get things done as quick as possible and we don't even sometimes we want to ignore all those minor details we don't want to pay attention to them we want to pay the least attention to things yes exactly exactly so I think this serves a a really nice reminder to people not only to nature you know we we're we are human beings we live in nature yeah we sometimes ignore it and also just to general just 
be attentive and uh, look around and discover the beauties, the minor details in in life. Yeah, you said it perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Thank you so much, Veronica. Thank you for sharing all these amazing ideas with us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm looking yes. forward to the event and seeing what, what comes of this. Of course, it's, uh, it's going to be amazing. And all righty, I'll see you in person. All right, bye. Bye.